What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? We just get the boy Randy. Ah! <laughs> yes, the, the sun is glaring my eyes. How you guys doing? What's up, you guys? Hope you're having a great, grand, blessed, and prosperous day. And of course, the plane wants to come through as soon as I start the video. How you guys doing? Hope you're having a great, grand, blessed, and prosperous day. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Today, I'm gonna make a quick video. Oh, if you're new to my channel, click like and subscribe, y'all. It's down there. Uh huh. That red thingy. Click subscribe. Yeah. Click that bell. You'll get a notification every time I make a video, which is like every 25 seconds. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for being here. Click like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Thumbs down. Not the, the plane is over there, yo. Oh, that's the helicopter. That's the helicopter. Well, that's military. Shout out to the military. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, you guys. A quick video on how to start your container gardening yep i'm taking you right through it I'm, I, and i'm going to give you a garden tour of what's going on right now on the skinny boy farms yes look at the deck you guys uh-huh normally looks very pretty doesn't it a mess but no you guys i just wanted to give you a quick tip on what you can use to start your container gardening this is a visual video it's not about me, it's about the garden. Also, if you're new to my channel, slide over to my Facebook group, Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome over there as well. We love having you. Let them know I sent you from over here on YouTube. Okay, you guys, okay. All uh, right, three things you need. Three, all you need, three. Three, three, just another two minute fingers, okay, okay. Um, Potting mix, whatever brand you pick. I always try to tell people when you're doing container gardens, you guys, if you have to save up a penny here, a quarter there, get you the best potting mix that you can get. And then some gardening soil. Some people like gardening soil. Why would you put that in your containers? When you're growing in buckets like this, I always like to mix a little gardening soil in with it to make it think it's really like in Mother Nature. Just to give it a little bit of depth. And then some black cow. Shout out to the Black Cow Company. And ain't nobody paying me to do this video, y'all. Okay, okay. But those are the three things that you can do. And what I do, I mix them in equal parts. Um, I mix the potting mix and the garden soil in equal parts, okay? And then I put in half of Black Cow. So it's not totally equal. Half and half of this. And then half of that. Did that make sense? So if I'm saying one cup, one cup, half a cup. Okay, okay. We ain't never went to measuring school. We ain't never went to measuring school. But yes, you guys, shout out to everybody who's trying to start their garden this year. We love you. Thank you so much for joining the team. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, you guys, what I've done is already filled up all of my containers with that soil mixture I just told you about. And what it looks like when you mix it all together. Let me show you one. The sun has been beaming on it, so it's drop top right. But look, when you go down in there, look. Hope you guys can see this. How, how, oh Lord, I know I'm leaking it out, y'all. Don't, don't let me have it on the thing. They be like, the Lord, you done waste more than you, you then you go on in. You know, the people let me know now. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here. But yes, you guys, those are three things that you can use to start your container garden. And like I said, I filled up all my containers. Now it's time to start planting some seeds that I'm going to let germinate outside. We have some uh, leeks that we need to plant. Here's a tomato plant that we started indoors, already acclimated to the sun. So just letting... It gets some sunlight, you guys. And then we're over here with our lettuce. We have three different types of lettuces. We have romaine, we have Paris, and we have butter crunch over here. And then we have some celery. And I'll let you guys watch me plant all of this. Yeah, you guys, I'm holding the, the, cam uh, the phone. And here is the raised bed, the broccoli, cauliflower. There's Princeton. There's the cabbage moth. You see that? That's not your friend. Looking for a place to lay an egg. Yep, that's the cabbage moth we're talking about, guys. So it can't get to my garden over here anymore because I have the sheer covering over it. Ah ha. Keep it moving, buddy. He's gonna land on something from last year. Yep. Okay, sorry you guys, but uh yeah, just had to let you know what that little buddy looks like. So I have my uh, brassicas covered with shear so that moth right there can't get to it and then we got over here a bed that we made on camera right here in front of the deck and things have started to sprout we have lettuces we have spinach 
we have our radishes and turnips all of that planted when it was cold out these survived the freeze yes you guys then we have our garlic we have our uh, uh, turnip greens mustard greens the anything bed here that we transplanted from last year's oops there's a worm in there from last year's bed they keep coming back y'all and then we're doing an experiment we put some of our things in the ground these are some uh cucumbers and squash cucumbers and squash in the ground yes i did it i went on ahead and took a chance if the frost comes i can cover this little bit up and then you know i got more of these inside so yeah and then we have i saw some birds over here so i covered up my peas my peas are coming up nicely they survived frost and uh, I covered them up because I saw the birds over here pecking away. We have some mustard greens over here. Everything is covered up from the birds. Yes, you guys. So I hope you're having a great growing, blessed and prosperous day. Just wanted to give you a quick tour of what's going on on the Skinny Boy Farms. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Let me take you to the front and show you our flowers. Like I said, don't forget your flowers, you guys. Don't forget your flowers. Here's some hostas. Mm -hmm. They're starting to break ground. And this is over here where I have the elephant ears planted. So I haven't done anything there yet. But here's the tulips, you guys. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at the red streak in the tulip. Amazing. Wow. The other ones don't have a red streak. Some have not even opened. And they're open during the, the daytime, you guys. It's so amazing. And at night, they close up like this. But, yeah. Beautiful. And these are the ones that we started in January. So, yeah, you guys, don't think it's too late to plant you some tulips. They only take about a couple of months. Isn't that a beautiful tulip? Yep, all different shapes, sizes, and kind. So, there you have it. Just wanted to give you a quick tour. This is a beautiful one, getting a lot of comments on the photo. Yep, that's a tulip. Beautiful, right? Look at all that pollen in there. Look at this one. Now, I was trying to give people the idea of how big this one is. I don't know what, this is humongous. Tulip. I can't bear. I can't even get my whole hand around it. That's how big it is. And these just look like roses. Beautiful. Look at there, you guys. Wow. Started from our tulips bulbs. Yep. Look at this one. This is just amazing. Look at that. Isn't God good? Hey Amen. And the bee telling me, move away. We want the pollen. So thank you guys so much. Remember, live, love, laugh, you guys. Grow stuff in need. Thank you so much for being here. And don't forget, get you some black cow. Oh, look at that one. Get you some black cow manure. Get you some potting mix, the best you can get, and some gardening soil or gardening mix whatever they want to call it in the store and then also if you want to add some perlite or uh, vermiculite do that as well thank you guys so much for being here have a great grown blessed and prosperous day